He's a man constantly in stitches. He just completed a two-week appearance at the Sally Kellerman Dinner Theater in Biloxi, Mississippi. I'm talking about that high-browed, stiff-legged, zipper-necked man of a thousand body parts, Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, man. <laughs> That's something uh, Boris Karloff did, you know, back in 32, I think it was. I just play around with it now and again. <laughs> well, what brings you to Conroe? Uh, actually, I walked. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm headed to Austin. Bradford, uh, they're shooting the premiere of Frankenstein Meets Mothra, and it's premiering in the country at Austin. It's doing gangbusters back wow. in Tokyo, Japan, but... <laughs> I'm not actually in the movie. What I am is I'm a technical advisor. Like, they really wanted to know what Frankenstein would do to Mothra. And by the way, uh, Frankenstein, supposedly the tsunami comes in, the atomic energy thing goes crazy, and it makes me really big, which is stupid, because I happen to know that nuclear power actually shrinks you, Brad. It gives a shrinking effect. But anyway, Tell that to the Japanese. Anyway, I'm real big at it, and I told them how Frankenstein would jump on moth. What kind of society has is one of their fierce monsters a moth? I mean, it's insane. Anyway, that's what I'm doing, and uh, as I was coming through, I remembered the Brad and Mark show. I catch you guys in Brazil. I was in Rio the other day. I caught you guys there. Japan, I've been watching you. You were gone for a while, and, and I, I said, man, there's Conrad. Back now. I'm going to step in and see Brad and Mark show, and... Speaking of which, uh, where's Mark? That, I mean, uh, you're great, Brad. <laughs> I kind of... Well, I, I think he was afraid to, to appear with you. Uh, by the way, I called you Frankenstein, uh, but I understand that you're really Frankenstein's monster. I, I apologize for that. What? Yeah. Monster? My name's not Frankenstein? You're the monster. Hokey smokes! You would think after all this... I'm messing with you, Bradford. No, uh, I happen to know that, ladies and gentlemen. I actually... Mary Shelley came up with the whole Frankenstein thing, but she, when she wrote her story back in 1817, by the way, a lot of people say it was 1819, it's 1817. She didn't just think it up. I happened to be going by there in Geneva. It was in Switzerland and met her while uh, her husband and Lord Byron were out in the back uh, cavorting, I think. Anyway, and uh, actually, she said she had to write this scary story, and I said, hey, man, I, I'm not scary, don't get me wrong, but uh, I think I got a story for you. And son of a gun, she pieced it together. Well, I, you know, you're the oldest person I, I think we've ever interviewed. How, how old are you? Hmm, well, that's a tough one. I'm 363, 374, 702... The parts. 680... Uh, the parts. All right, man, I am a man of many parts, Bradford, and I've got so many different things, and uh, I, I mean, like, uh, you take these hands, I don't know if you've noticed, but my, my uh, left arm is a lot shorter, I don't know if you can see, than my right, I mean, I am that, a mess. That's, that's not what the ladies want to know. No, 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 Bradford, oh, speaking of which, can you believe, by the way, the real, uh, not inventor, but the guy who created me was not, uh, Lord, uh, was not uh, Baron Frankenstein. I'm Frankenstein. She knew that. She just played along. So actually, uh, Baron Stefan, I call him Baron Steve, uh -huh, he made uh -huh. me, and actually it was in Oslo, Norway. But I just say that to say this. Here's a guy relatively smart. I mean, he, he comes up with a lot of different parts, and son of a gun, he, I end up with one testicle. No, I don't want to hear things. about it. I don't, don't want to hear about it. Coma. I do want to know, you don't have any bolts or diodes or things sticking out of your, your head or your neck. <laughs> What's, what's no, the deal? Uh, actually, uh, Brad, I've got to do something. Speaking of which, let me uh, grab something for you. you oh, yeah, yeah, that whole yeah. bolt thing is all wrong, Brad. Just, just, just a second here. Speaking of which, <laughs> are you ready for this? What? <laughs> Woo! Mama! Now, that's just a little jolt. Uh, uh, Baron uh, Steve said the whole neck thing was stupid. Once again, Shelly said that because actually where it's connected is in my nether regions, Bradford, and Shelly didn't want to go that way, so she came up with these stupid neck bolt things, but this jolt, this thing works great. But hey, uh, you want to try? You want to try? How many testicles you got? No, no, thank hey, you. Buddy, no, no. I'll, I'll hey. listen to jolt. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, hey, you mentioned Mothra. 
But but have you run across any real monsters? Oh gosh, yeah, man. Uh, creature from the Black Lagoon. That sucker is nice. You know, uh, he's so nice. I felt sorry for him, Bradford. But we did. I didn't want to fight him or anything. But we did get in an arm wrestling deal. He won. That webbed hand of his just freaks me out. So I left him alone. Uh, then we had uh, actually the Terminator. Not the uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. I beat the crap out of Arnold Schwarzenegger, but that thing that uh, turns into Mercury. Oh, yeah, water, yeah, yeah, yeah. More I can't figure that sucker out. We uh, finally had to uh, get it to where we just agreed not to agree, and we went our separate ways. The Wolfman. I have fought the Wolfman, and there's not multiple Wolfmans like that fairy show they got on Twilight. Give me a break. Yeah. There's one Wolfman. He looks more like Lon Chaney than these other things. His face doesn't go distorted and all. And by the way, there's only one because he passes on, as soon as he passes on the Wolfman thing, uh, he dies and the mm. other guy takes off. That's he actually bit my leg and it, it is hairier than the other leg. But uh, anyway, but uh, there is a Wolfman still out there. Well, which one was the scariest? You know, you're not going to believe this. Not uh, For one, I mean, the alien. Let's face it, that uh, Sigourney Weaver alien. Oh yeah. That sucker, I mean, I was this close to him, and whenever that second head came out of his tongue. mouth, yeah. that freaked my freak. And then I thought, you know, if I squeeze and, uh, his head off or something, he's got this acid thing. I don't do acid well. But to be honest with you, the guy that gave me the most trouble was Jason Bourne. He's not even a monster, but that guy liked to beat me to death with a rolled up newspaper. Yeah. Man, he's fast. He's in the going. Oh, man. Oh, gosh, it was terrible. That's but, um, something. Anyway, I, I managed to beat everything. But, you know, uh, oddly enough, a grizzly bear. I was in the Yukon. A grizzly bear got me, and uh, I was just eating one of its cubs. You know, simple little thing. Went crazy. Frank Frankenstein in the Yukon. Almost okay. lost my other testicle. But uh, anyway, well, I got the better of it. Uh, uh, listen, I think on that note, we're going to end it. You know, it's been really nice having you on the show. Oh, man, cool. Uh, maybe you'll have me back sometime or something. i tell you what. I'm coming back in July. They're, uh, the Crichton, I don't know if you're aware, but the Crichton is doing To Kill a Mockingbird. And uh, they want me for Boo Radley. And I can't tell you how many times I've played Boo Radley. I'm going to go out for Atticus Finch. Yeah. I like it. No, no, what, what? Catch this. Uh, Scout, you don't kill a mockingbird. Actually, that was my Richard Nixon. That's, I can get this down, though. That was really good. But oh, I think, right, you know, July, hey. I'm, I'm really happy that we had you on the show. Well, I think it's time to go back to the Brad and Mark yeah. show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, uh, next time I'd like Mark to be here. What do you uh, think? Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do this thing.